Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is Wednesday. It's August 2nd. Before we get into any of the cooking videos that we're going to do today, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning into my channel. I want to welcome all of our new members that are new to my channel. I also want to apologize. You'll see this on Thursday, the 3rd of August. On the 2nd, I posted four videos total. I posted three Cooking with Joel segments plus the Gardening with Joel segment. And if you're new to my channel, I have two different types of video that I do. I do a gardening video once a week. Sometimes more if new things develop in the garden. And we're talking about the vegetable garden. And if you're new to my cooking channel, we do everyday average home cooks. And this series, we are, we're doing jams, we're doing canning. If you're new to canning, welcome to my channel. I'm going to try to explain everything. The goal today is my husband wants sliced peaches. So we're going to be canning some sliced peaches for him for the winter time. I'm also going to make another batch of peach jam. I'm not going to film that because you guys have already seen the segments. And my husband pointed out a little bit earlier, I'm long-winded and I apologize. I will try to get better with that. I know these videos are very, very long. As a matter of fact, the videos that you saw yesterday average 20 minutes a piece and I threw three of them so we're up to 40 minutes with the three videos that I, I threw at you guys it might actually be longer because three times two is 60 minutes so they might be a total of an hour video. We're also going to do blueberry jam today and I'm excited to do something totally new and I will do step-by-step -step instructions for that. Let's get started. And to do peach slices or sliced peaches, you're going to need a few different things. You're going to need the jars. So it's going to be pretty much the same setup as making the jam, except you're not going to use pectin in the slices. Instead, what you're going to use is you're going to use a fruit fresh. And I'm gonna bring this in, and you can get this any place that has canning supplies. I got this at my local supermarket, but you can get it probably anywhere that they sell the canning supplies. And we're talking the jars, the canner, all of that. And if you're new to my channel, and this is the first video you're watching, go back to the beginning of my peach jam series and we talk about the canner and the jars. So we're going to be doing different jars today. Instead of doing the pint size jars that I did for the peach jam, we're going to do smaller. We're going to do the half pints and the half pints are eight ounces. I'm going to do half of the pints for the blueberry and half of the pints for the peach. And what's great about the half pints being smaller is they're a great gift giver. You can give them away for gifts. You can brighten somebody's day by giving them a homemade jam or jelly. If you're wondering what the difference is, again, go watch the beginning series of the peach jam. I explain what the difference is between the peach jams jellies and preserves are. Now, so I don't get too long-winded, there were a few things with the peach jam that I would change, and that's the amount of sugar. I've looked at a lot of recipes, and a lot of recipes are in the same agreement that you have to use a lot of sugar. Do you necessarily need to do this? It all depends on how big of a batch you do. I try not to go over a double batch. And a double batch of 
jams, jellies, or preserves would use two, bo two boxes of the pectin. One box of pectin should fill eight half pint jars or half eight or eight eight ounce jars. So you can get away with using one. If you have a lot of fruit that you need to process, you're going to need multiple boxes of pectin. What I would suggest, unless you are a canner and have canned your entire life, start small. You can double a recipe fairly easy. It's not that tricky to do a two or a double recipe. But when you start tripling and quadrupling it, then you're going to run into more problems. And that's why if you are new to canning or you've only canned a little bit, I suggest staying simple and doing one batch, even maybe doubling it and, and doing a double batch. And if you need to do more, you're going to just continue the same process. So we're going to get started here in a second. I'm going to give you the ingredients if you want to can your peach your peaches into slices. And you're going to need a sugar syrup to go into the peaches. You can use water. However, when you use water, you're throwing out pretty much the taste and the look of the peaches. So if you want to keep the peaches as fresh as as possible, you're gonna need a syrup solution, and that's basically going to be a sugar and water. Now, how much sugar and water depends on how heavy you want your syrup to be. And I'm, we'll also leave a link down below in this video or when we actually start of the recipe that I use, and it's by wholefully.com. If you go on wholefully, and that's, W-H-O-L-E-F-U-L-L-Y dot com. That's the recipe that I'm doing. And this is canned peaches in slices or halves. So you can do halves or you can do slices. I'm going to do slices versus halves. And you're going to need about 8 to 12 pounds of peaches peeled, halves, slices, pitted, and treated to prevent browning and drained. You're going to need one batch of hot syrup. Those are the only ingredients that you're going to need. You're also going to need some, some of the fruit protector for your peaches. We'll get into that as we go with the recipe. I'm scrolling down. I know she had information on the different syrups and I'm looking to see and this will last well through the winter this should take you through the winter months okay I'm looking I'm looking a lot of questions Okay, so there are four different types of syrup. There's a light syrup, a medium syrup, a heavy syrup, a fruit juice syrup, and water. We're going to use the light syrup. It uses two cups of sugar and five cups of water. If you want a medium syrup, you're going to use three cups of sugar to five cups of water. And if you want a heavy syrup, if you want to do your peaches in a heavy syrup, they're going to use four cups of sugar and five cups of water. Now, before we get in, into the recipe and we start doing this, I'm going to put my laptop over here so I don't ruin my new laptop. What can you use the, the jam and the sliced peaches for? if you can them over winter. Well, of course the jam can be used for toast, it can be used for cheeses as a spread for for cheeses. If you're doing a, a, a cheese board, you can 
definitely serve a little peach jam with it to bring out the flavors of cheeses. You can also use the jam for cakes. You can use it as a filling if you're going to make a, a cake and you want a peach filled center of a cake. That means when you layer the cakes and we'll eventually get into cakes down the road, probably in September, closer to my husband's birthday, I'll bake him uh, his favorite cake is the chocolate cake. But you could put peach preserves in the middle of the layers and have a nice fruit cake for dessert. Now with the sliced peaches or the peach halves, you can eat them plain. You can serve them on ice cream in the winter time. You could also use them, bake an angel food cake Put them on there, on on the angel food cake, and then put Ready Whip, and you have a great, great dessert and fresh peaches that basically will last you until the next growing season. So those are things that you might want to consider if you're going to do canning, and they will last through the entire winter season if they're canned properly. So I'm going to go down, get my peaches. I'll be right back with the video and let's get started. Okay, welcome back. It just hit the noon hour, so we're gonna get started. This is pretty, thank you, my computer. My computer actually tells me every hour what time it is, which I love that feature, but sometimes it gets annoying. This process for the peach slices is the identical, ver same thing that you're doing when you make the peach jam. The only difference is, is instead of cutting the peaches into chunks, you're going to actually do slices. I'm not gonna show you that step because it's already done. If you need to go and view it, go back to the beginning of the peach jam series and you will see step-by-step -step instructions on how to do peaches. Actually, I scratch that, go back to my peach slices video and I actually show you how to remove the skins of the peaches, how to pit them, and how to slice them basically. You're going to do that whole segment for the amount of peaches that you want. Now my local farm farm stand has peaches. I bought another half bushel of peaches and a half bushel in case you're wondering weighs 22 pounds so i have 22 pounds of peaches i am not going to use all 22 pounds for the sliced peaches but i'm going to use half of what i have for sliced peaches and half for the jam again i'm not going to film any of the jam stuff segment because you guys have already seen that now for the sliced peaches in heavy syrup, you're going to need a few different things. You're still going to need a canner, which I explained in a previous video. You're going to need one large pot and one small pot. And then, of course, you're going to need another good size pot so you can take the skins off. You need to boil your peaches for about 30 seconds. These peaches are, are really ripe. They're Michigan peaches. I have found 30 seconds is more than enough time for these to work. So I'm gonna move these over here, over to the other side and get set up. Like I said, you guys have already seen this step with the jam making Session, so I'm not going to do that for that. And I'm going to put the heavy pot on the side because the heavy pot is actually what I'm going to do when I start to make jam. And I'm just getting set up for this. So I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to do all of the pitting, the peeling, and the slicing for the for the jam. But before I do that, we need to set up our sterilized jars. And again, my sterilized jars are in my dishwasher. I'm doing big 
jars. For his sliced peaches, I suggest using a pint jar. You can actually go bigger. You can actually go into a full quart. And I touched on one of the videos. It might be in the towards the tail end of the peach jam series that you saw yesterday. I touched on the different size jars. And this is actually a quart size jar. So if you want to do a bigger jar for your peaches, you can go all the way up to a quart. But I would not go any smaller than a pint. Because the half pint, you're not going to be able to get that many peaches. And unless you want to give somebody a little tiny taste of peaches. So definitely use the pint size jars and I'm going to get those all set up and I'll be back in a while and we'll get started. Okay, I'm back. I was just going through and dividing the peaches because some of the peaches will be for jam and some will be for slices. I put my sliced peaches over here and that's about seven pounds of peaches that I'm going to be making into peach slices. Now, when I say peach slices, I don't want you to get mixed up with the peach slices that I made that was the pie. So I'll instead I'll rename this and say these are sliced peaches. These are going to be sliced peaches in, in light syrup. So that's the first thing. If you're going to buy, if your local farm stand has really nice peaches and you're gonna buy a half bushel of peaches, you can do a magnitude of different things with the half bushel. Like I said, mine was 22 pounds. You can make jam out of a portion of them. You can make sliced peaches out of a portion of them and you can make your pies or your peach slices out of them. So I have 15 pounds of peaches left I'll divide those by how many I want to use for pie and how many I want to use for jam. And I might actually deduct a couple of peaches out of the slices since this is already seven pounds. And you can see this is at the top line. And I have not peeled, pitted, or done any of that stuff yet. I'm going to do that right now. And since we already have a video... Rather than making you guys go back and look, I have on the stove, and it's not turned on, I have a pot of water. You're going to want to just boil that, and you're going to put your peaches in there for 30 seconds until they peel relatively easy. Then you're going to drop them in an ice-cold bath really fast. Let them stay in the ice-cold bath at least 45 minutes or 45 seconds to one minute to cool the peaches down that actually stops them from cooking anymore. And then we'll get started with, with the canning process of the sliced peaches. So I'll be back once all of that's done. Okay, all I'm back. While I'm waiting for my water for my peaches to boil, there are a few things that I need to mention with the canning of the sliced peaches. One big thing is you need to determine if you're going to, how you're going to can them. And I re-looked at the website and I'm kind of gonna bring you guys over so you guys can see my computer over here. You might not be able to see the whole thing and I'll try to bring you in closer. There are two different types of ways to do the, the canning of the sliced peaches. You can do the raw method, which basically means once you've peeled, pitted, and sliced your peaches, you're going to use the Fruit Fresh Protector. You're going to sprinkle that on your peaches. You're going to mix them up. You're going to put them in the jar. At the same time, you're going to keep your syrup hot and boiling, and you're going to ladle that in each jar. That's the raw method. Now, if you're going to do the cooked method... And I think I'm going to turn you guys over here for, or actually, I'm going to bring you with for a second. If you're going to do the hot pack, 
pet method, what you're going to do is as your syrup is boiling, you're going to add one, you're going to add your peaches layer at a time mixing. So you coat the pe peaches and you keep doing that. I think I'm going to try the raw method versus the hot method because that cuts down the cooking time that I need. Now, the other thing that I need to tell you guys is the canning for sliced peaches is different than your jam. As if you saw my jam series, we canned for 10 minutes and we processed the jars for 10 minutes. Well, the sliced peaches need to go a lot longer. They need to go at least 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to double check when we get to that step. So you're going to want your canners your canner to be loaded with hot water. This time you're going to actually boil the water because you want to place the jars into the boiling water to start them. You don't want to do the cold method and let it come up to boil. So we're going to start getting the can in canner ready. And my water for my peaches is just about to boil. I'm going to stop the video since you guys have already seen all of that. I'm going to get my canner ready. I'm going to start letting that boil. So I'll be back once we're ready to begin the canning process.